Woo! Woo! Um, bear with me. Um, I know I still wasn't prepared, I just randomly went for it, so also Ooh. bear with me. Um, this is called A Mother's Warning. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you sit there, leaning back with your scales shiny, your teeth gleaming white, supposedly inviting. You talk of what's right, but you've done wrong. You've done bad. You fucked her up, down, all the way around, <coughs> inside and out, leaving permanent gaping holes of doubt. Her mother warned her of the crocodile under the bed, whose yellow, feverish eyes smile. Little did she know you were the crocodile at night, creeping about, your tail slithering, slipping slowly across the floor, leaving traces of transparent footprints by the door. Your breathing calm as you pace into her room again and again, pace, pace, day by day, wait, wait, wait. She waits, she waits, she waits. She learnt to wait, to forget the nights of the crocodile's visit. How dare you? You sit there, talking, intellectual, perpetual, artificial monologue. You embroider your words on your crocodile tongue, a gnarled, warped applique, an epilogue. She, she listens. She waits again, ten years later, but she waits again, this time in broad daylight. This time she brings far, she remembers, she is haunted, ink of memory spool through the cracks of her heart where you, the crocodile, bit into and left as a carcass. She breathes, panic, sweats, breathes, thoughts pacing, patrolling, pounding, refusing to trace the past. The past pities her current state, but sighs and in an officious voice states, perhaps it was your mistake. For a crocodile will only hunt because it needs to. She believes that objective voice, the voice of a warm, aged, wind-up toy. Still now she is fearful of the crocodile's stench, smiling because mirroring the array of teeth is safer than a battle scene. Now, ten years later, she waits. She waits for you and your dirty green-scaled arm, shallow yellow eyes, suffocating presence, the devil's charm. Even though on this day you are far away, she's formed a patchwork in her memory, a space, a place for the memory shadow. You fucked her up down, about, inside and out. And on dark, boggy and stage-lit day, she feels fucked up. She feels like an empty silence, an unfilled cup. But on other days, days when she's not mourning, she sighs a sigh of steady relief. She feels strong. She thinks, at least she's not you. At least she's not you, a mother's warning. 